This dish has a Roman foot that's turned nearly downward. And the only difference between it and a typical bowl is in the opening process. Here, the Roman foot is made in the usual way. The glass is constricted, the bottom is pushed flatter, a blade is placed on either side to squeeze it, and once the Roman foot has been formed, it's reheated and forced downward. The process begins here, and it's completed after a reheat. The punty site is gently cooled. The vessel is transferred to the punty, broken free of the blowpipe. And because this vessel doesn't have a folded rim, the hole is simply made larger and larger in diameter. The glass is thin, it cools quickly, so it has to be reheated frequently. The vessel is spun so that centripetal force increases the diameter at the widest part. The lower portion of the vessel gets larger and larger in diameter. More spinning and the opening process resumes with the jacks dilating the rim to match the diameter that's been set at the base. Again, the glass is very thin, cools quickly, and there are many reheats, which we don't show. The radius of the bottom edge is set, and finally the sides are given their slight conical shape. It's essentially the same process as that used to make a bowl.